This is our last show of the year. How's that? And uh, we'll be back starting in January. Enjoy this show. I think it's what six hours long, something like that. It's something like that. It's yeah. a long. It's one. it's a long one. And it's got I mean, a killer it's, cliffhanger it's, at the end. It, it does. It's a real. It's awesome. awesome. Everybody. Thank you to everybody for tuning in to our wacky show. We really appreciate everybody who's been watching. We appreciate all of your comments. We love all the people that we've met through the show. We've done a lot of different episodes about a lot of different songs. Next season, starting sometime in 2016, we're going to come with brand new stuff, brand new songs, brand new guests. It's going to be a hoot name. <laughs> I'm Peter Barcott. And I'm Kyle Fletcher. And we make music. I make music. I make music. And I make music. And I make music. And I make music. I'm trying to come up with that one hook. That one melody that gets stuck in your head. And won't let go. I write and record dozens of ideas. But the truth is most won't make it. But it only takes one. Oh, God. What is it? I'm just really drunk. But wait, but I'm just wait, really I'm drunk. <laughs> We're back in the Northwest from the taxi rally. It's colder it's, in the Northwest than it is in California. Here. Yeah, but you know, I, I brought some of the flashback with me. You know, I got really inspired by the whole kind of like bling. Los Angeles thing. So I figured I, you know, step it up a notch with. Good morning. It's time for the taxi rally. Woo! Today is the first day of the taxi rally, and it's early. And I have to go pick up Kyle and we're going to head to the uh, airport. Jump on a plane and head for sunny Los Angeles, California. Well, if it's early morning, late in the afternoon, late at night, if you're from the Seattle area, you feel my pain, people. I'm glad I left early. Well, Peter showed up at my house early. Kyle, first day of the uh, taxi rally. It's early. I'm sleepy. It's not that early. It's early. Not really. Like it was to... earlier when I was filming earlier, and it was dark. <laughs> okay. We're getting ready to head to the airport. Airports are fun. We made it in time. I think we were there like half an hour early. <laughs> uh, we made it to the airport. I don't think we're gonna make our flight. What do you think? D1, man. D1. I already looked it up. Oh, cool. uh, Chaser is at uh, SeaTac Airport waiting for our flight 432 to Los Angeles. So, are you looking forward to this uh, convention or what? What, what do you think is going to come of it? We're going to sell some songs. We are. Is that the mission? Absolutely. Okay. How's it gonna happen? Gonna predictions. Talk to the right person. They're gonna play it. And everybody's gonna cry. We gotta do the Mr. T. Predictions for the rally. Signed to a library. Okay, we're on the plane. Heading to this place. Road Rally 2015. Nice, uh, cramped accommodations. Uh, I, th I think it's pretty typical for a uh, for, uh, coach here on uh, an airline that starts with an A. Uh -huh. And there's probably uh, signs all over the place. Okay, so I'll talk to you when we get there. We're really hoping this is Los Angeles, but I think that's pretty definitive right there. Exactly. Um, what are we? What are we doing? Well, we are in the. Where are we? We're in the Thai restaurant, adjacent to the hotel. Oh. We're gonna get a little food before we wait in a long line to get signed up for mentors for first, tomorrow. First, we're gonna do something else after we eat. We are. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go get food. Oh yes, we need to go get something to drink because what? drinks are far too expensive in the hotel. We're so. gonna make our own drinks in the room. Yes, that's that's the way to go. It's be a hit chaser party. It's thir thirty second tip. Go to your local 
Booze Factory. Booze Factory when you're on vacation because drinks are too expensive in the hotel, generally speaking. Signing off. Bye. We're in LA. LA. Oh, sorry about my sorry about my language there. I know, I'm sorry. So this is uh Century Boulevard. It's what? Century Boulevard. Okay. I don't know what that means, but that's what we're speaking Rod. We're heading to the liquor store. So we're going to the uh, liquor closet. Okay. Get some uh Drinks. Thirty-second tip: Don't ever buy the drinks at the hotel. It's too expensive. Go to a liquor store. Do they sell guns at this liquor store? Maybe. I heard they do both here in LA. Checked in. Yep. Checked yeah. out the room. Welcome to the Hit Chasers Hotel Room. As you can see, it's lovely accommodations. We spare no expense for ourselves. It was a nice room. Kyle has located the ice. Didn't have a fridge, so we called the uh, front desk and said, we need a fridge. And, then, and they brought us a fridge. They brought us a refrigerator. It's amazing. And we filled it with booze. Wow, look at that. Parking garages, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Kyle is being innovative. 30 second tip. Want to keep your pop cold at a hotel? Get an ice bucket and fill it with some ice. Put your pop on top of it and bam! Pop on top. Cold rum and coke, everybody. When we got there, there was a huge line for registration. And there were people that were standing in line since, what did they say? Like eight in the morning. Eight o'clock that morning. We got there at noon. <laughs> Kyle, wake up! What the hell's going on? Absolutely nothing. We're in line. You need to be loud. We can't hear anything. We're in line. The registration started at like 5.30. I'm trying to register. Look at There's a lot of people here. I don't see what the big deal was. There really wasn't any reason to, well, the reason to, was, to do that. They want to get registered, then they want to get in a line to meet a mentor. The line is not moving. We got another hour, I think, before it moves. A very nice lady brought us some water. I'd like to say thank you to her. Thank you very much, because it's hot in here, and I really appreciate you bringing me some water. Yes. But we were like, what, 300th in line, I bet, somewhere around there? Easy. And we had our list of mentors. You pick your top five, and then... Peter got the, our number one. Yep. First yep. in first interview in the morning was perfect. Right. Hey everybody, it's Kyle leading me on a wild goose chase to a taco truck. Guys, there ain't no wild goose chase out here last year. <laughs> taco truck goose. Been to the rally before. This is my second one, and I told Peter for dinner we're eating at the taco truck because we found it last year. Not a lot of people go there. It's about. Or three blocks away, kind of in an alley area. Where is it then? I don't see no taco truck, man. See those cars down there? Okay, I'm looking. Where? See that? That's like 14 blocks from here. Jeez, man, all I want is a taco. Hey, we met a country guy. Yeah, it was country TM. It sounded good. It was, it was pretty cool. Show you some video of this. Right. So we're thinking this guy can sing next train, maybe. I don't know. That that song's a, a turd. Well, you know what they're gonna say? They're gonna say, "Hey." They're gonna say, "This sounds too country. We don't like it." Sounds like a country guy singing so about <laughs> Killer tacos. That's right. Los Angeles taco truck in full effect. Here we go. I got whatever's in there. I don't know because Kyle ordered it for me. Oh, I didn't get any hot sauce. Oh man, they turned the music on just for us. Well, I got a slight case of the Higgins because Kyle insisted that we have some hot sauce. Really hot hot sauce. And every time we get there, we had a couple drinks in us and we're like, we'll put a less hot sauce. And I think there's some videos of Pete uh, I had a little experiencing the sauce. aftermath of this hot sauce. <laughs> they gave us the whole bottle once. Uh, so I got this big effing thing. Look at this. It's like the freaking pyramids of Giza. It's goddamn gigantic. I go, go easy, Pete. Hot sauce, which is delicious, and these tacos are delicious as well. 
but hot stuff gives me the hiccups. Can you look over your left shoulder and say USA? USA? There you go. Thank you. We're at the open mic. Kyle said that I should turn off my phone, but I'm not listening to him. Turn off your phone. Turn off the ringer. I'm not going to do it. Turn off your ringer. I did that. Oh, perfect. Okay. Do we need to whisper? If you want to. Um. <laughs> this lady Michelle we met. This lady Michelle we met. She's going to perform tonight. Really? <laughs> We first got there in Thursday. Yeah, on, on Thursday. Starting on Thursday and into Friday, most of the people there were very quiet, and anybody that we talked to was because we went up and talked to them. Hi, right. everybody. This is Michelle. Hey. Michelle is somebody that we met at uh, what was the event? It was at the, the Spitfire taxi Grill. Road oh, no, yeah, we met yeah, you at yeah, the Spitfire. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelle was actually somebody that we met prior to this taxi rally in Seattle, in Seattle at an event. So we actually knew her, so there was one person that we knew. Every, everything we did, every, I think us and Michelle ran into each other probably every hour. Yes, a lot. <laughs> yeah, we ran into her a lot. Same classes. Right, what was that? That was like the happy hour, right? It was the happy hour for okay. musicians and, and film people and all kinds of people. Right, and where, where are we at right now? What are you about to do? We are at the Taxi Road Rally in Los Angeles. So fun. And we're about to sing at the, the first open mic of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, we wake up about 7 in the morning. Day one of the Taxi Road Rally. Get some food, get ready for the first class. Classes start like at 9, 15, 9.30. We got this guy. And we woke up to this guy. Barcott, West West in LA. Barcott, in LA. That's Cop pretty much all we took. We got a copyright on that riff, so yeah, don't even think about it. There were protesters outside of the hotel, and every morning when we got up, they, they had some new chant. They were like a they little uh, megaphone. Barcott. That's not what they were saying. They were saying boycott Weston L.A., yeah, but, but it sounded like my last name. And in fact, in one, one, at one point, it actually sounded like my last name. It did. So, it was, so now it's Barcott Weston L.A. So. Hola. Kyle, sing the song. Mouth it. Perfect. Okay, we're in the main ballroom, and the opening remarks are going to happen soon. What? I'm gonna show you. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. What's going on? It's going to be the opening remarks at the Taxi Road Rally. 2015 here in beautiful Los Angeles, California. The weather is sunny. It's uh, it's not a balmy 60, but it's it's somewhere in that. Area. And what are you doing after this? Peter got the, our number one. Yep. First yep. in first interview in the morning it was perfect. Right. Well, I'm going to go speak with a mentor, Chris Hot Rod Long. And you're the first guy to see him. I'm the first guy in the morning to talk to this guy, so hopefully he has fresh ears and we'll, uh, well, hopefully he'll like the track. And what what track are you going to drop on it? I'm going to drop our newest track, which is called Here and Now, that I just wrote a couple weeks ago, but I'm feeling pretty good about it, nice. so uh, while I've got some fire about it, I'm going to go ahead and take my chance and give it to a guy who's actually was or still is an A&R representative, nice. so uh, I, I think it's a pretty good opportunity, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, he gave me some good advice. Listen to one of our songs. Uh, it was uh, it was exactly what I needed to hear at the time. Part two. Right, day one is all but done except for the schmoozing. Day one was yesterday. Not really. This is the real day one. Yeah, we we got a lot, lot of info. My brain's a little numb. Yeah. We'll yeah. drink coke. Then I'm gonna drink a bunch of rum and coke. Right. At the taco truck. The taco truck. Authentic. It's good. Yeah, it's very good. No line. Oh, you have a Coke? I'm going to have a torch. Oh, every time I open 
We just got out of a class uh, about songwriting, and specifically lyrics. It's pretty informative. Uh, the gentleman giving the speech was clearly had been in the business for a long time, um, so it was sort of a lengthy presentation. But he did talk about a uh, program called Master Writer that Kyle and I are very interested in. Hopefully, it will make my songwriting a little better. So we're going to go check out the booth. It's 50% off right now. We may go ahead and get that. We just bought a program called Master Writer. It's going to make us millions of dollars. Master. It is? It is. What happened? <laughs> we were guaranteed millions of dollars, right? I'm guaranteed. You're guaranteed? Okay. Well, I don't know how good that is. But that guy, he's written lots of hit songs, right? So we're guaranteed. That's right. Okay. Perfect. So just to show everybody, there's some vendors here. That's that's where we got uh, got the uh, the program we just bought from. But the, the guy that we got it from was uh, this lady over here. She just uh, well, you didn't really see it, but she we just came out of her uh, presentation. It was really good. As the weekend went on, people got looser and drunker and more willing to talk to you and stuff so by saturday night everybody was just <laughs> my name is laurel and i live in olympia and i write music laurel who's a pianist and a piano teacher she was great she's out of olympia and she's out of olympia i'm here because of all these cool people like kyle and peter and what are you hoping to get out of this actually connections networking new friends Wisdom. A good deal. Yeah. <laughs> and a good deal. And they were all told in every class, you're here to meet. You're That's here right. To you're here to meet people. people. Yep. You paid your money, get here, schmooze. A lot of really cool people. Yeah. I've uh, learned a lot of mixing techniques that I'm going to take home and really? dominate the world that much more. Okay. Because yeah. Kyle's pretty upset about your view on uh, side chain compression. I'm just telling you. Oh, yeah. He's pretty upset about he's it. He's pretty upset about that. He likes to use EQs, and so do well, I. But be you sure, apparently sure, yeah, said be that sure, yeah, be EQs. sure you head to uh, soundcloud.com slash Drew Sounds and tell me that my vocals don't sound pretty clear. I actually I listened to a lot of your guys' stuff. I, I, was just, I did. I was just saying that um, where I used to use EQs, I use multiband compressors yeah. at this point. I've been starting like, to get into that as well. It's like an EQ yeah. that meets... It's, it's like an EQ and compressor. Compressor and it's EQ like together. EQs yeah, I get you. I get you. Well, I mean, down north, um, we're based out of Seattle. We're, I like to call soul punk or alternative soul band. Anthony, who's in a soul band called Down North here in Seattle. I guess. Well, that, that we're really big about the live show. We're really big about it's good. bringing and, back and you do. showmanship. Uh, check them out because they're kick-ass. Woo! <laughs> a lot, man, and I fucking Woo! love it. I love it. It's awesome, man. Good. I'm Sophie Levine. And what are you doing here? I am a pop singer songwriter, and I just moved to LA from Denver about two weeks ago. How old are you? I'm 18. Sophie Levine, who's 18 years old, and dropped everything to come to Los Angeles to be a singer-songwriter. You know, I want to be able to you know, be my own artist and get to do all the things associated with that. I mean, I just imagine her stepping off the Greyhound with the, with the suitcase. Oh, I think that's Axl it's, Rose. It's, you're right, it was Axl Rose. <laughs> I want to tour and I want to you know, make albums and I want to write songs and all of that. Um, you can find me at facebook.com slash Sophie Levine Music. And on Instagram, Sophie Levine Music. And Twitter is Sophie Levine Music. Nice. And I, my website is um, Sophie Levine Music. All right. <laughs> Great to meet Sophie. Uh, there was one other one. Jenner Wren was from Seattle. My Jenner Bearing Suit Award? Uh huh. And I need a band. I can't find a band. I am a Reverb Nation, yeah. so I'm a singer-songwriter. I love to like perform with other people. I would yeah. love to. That's my main thing. I don't. Right. I don't play out. I love to play out. All right. But I'm into the quest for a hit song too. All right. What What's your style? Uh, kind of punk, country rock. Punk, 
country rock? Well, it's because I like Patsy Cline, I'm a rock singer, and I'm really poppy and I write great hooks. Nice. So, I don't think of it as country, but every time I get players, my drummer always makes it like really country. <laughs> Uh, cool takeaway was we ended up creating a Facebook group for taxi members in the Seattle area. And the idea is we're going to try to get together semi-regularly to share each other's ideas and hopefully collaborate with each other as well. We had like, I don't know, like five people that were, yeah, all right, this sounds like a cool idea. Uh, as of this morning, uh, what, three or four days later, there's like 16 people. Yeah, was yesterday. yesterday. Very here. Hang on a second, hang on a second. That goes a little boring. Okay, there we go. So, I was walking down the street yesterday going to get some uh, beverages. Yeah. And I have a big white guy comes walking past me. I can tell he's going to ask me something. He says, hey, I'm a veteran. He's asking for money. He says, hey, man, I'm broke. And he just looked at me straight. He goes, you're a terrible person and I hope you die. There you go, I'll do it. I just laughed. All right. Welcome to LA. <laughs> That's right. I'm a terrible person. If I was smart enough, I should have said, but you'll die before that. Because you're older than me. I love LA. We love it. Woo. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that these colors don't exist in nature. <laughs> Tell me who you are. Who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin Smith from Monterey. With Kevin Smith. Smith, like the uh, filmmaker? Kevin Smith? Yeah, exactly. I hear that. <laughs> no, you, you look guy. a little different. A little bit, okay. yeah. All right, where are you from? Uh, from Monterey Bay. All right, what kind of music? Uh, it's I would call it uh, indie folk pop. It's, so it's not singer-songwriter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll talk more about we'll that. We'll talk more about yeah. that. Yeah. No. All right, cool. You getting anything out of this rally? Oh, yes. Uh, the, actually, this year is the first year I'm getting connections, so uh, that's kind awesome. of fun. Like, right. Meeting people, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been actually, uh, this, I'm having a lot of fun this year. Cool. Actually, just kind of hanging out and talking with people, other artists. And what about you? Hey, uh, I'm Mike McCullough. I live up in San Francisco. I uh, worked with a songwriting partner, Ryan Francis, who's running around somewhere here. Yeah? This is our, like, sixth road rally now. We've been two. How long have you or your partner or whatever been members of Taxi? Uh, it's, it's been right around six years. Yeah. And you've had some success? Um, we're, we're working up to it closer and closer, you know. It's it's one of those long-term things that just keep plugging away. So plugging away. So, and we've been working on music <laughs> for, uh, for film. I want to tell you something about us, the hit chasers. We like to make fun of ourselves and poke uh, fun at ourselves. So uh, it's nothing personal. Sure. Whatever I say is nothing personal. Well, I just I, like people to have a good time. I don't take anything personally. But <laughs> you're passionate about making music and... And, yeah, and, just, and your goal is what? Uh, to, I mean, eventually, really, it's just to get that number one hit in pop or country. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and, and you feel like you can write in both those genres? Uh, it's it's relatively close those two. Yeah. You know, and really, I think at the end of the day, if you really study your your genre, and really figure out what's going on in the yeah. market, and you, you learn how to emulate that kind of stuff. Really, I, it really increases your chances by a bunch, and that's what that's what I'm really, really starting to get into lately. Is just digging into what's going on now. Also, sign up on registration. We met Kevin. That's right, Kevin. Kevin is in a group, an indie folk type group called the Jinxes. Um, Kevin Smith is his name. Uh, the Jinxes, look them up. And really? your, your, uh, SoundCloud stuff. Kevin, how do people find you? Oh, you can find us at thejinxes.com. Hey everybody! We're gonna take a little break here from the Hit Chasers. We'll be back in 2016 with new episodes, new songs, new guests, new shoes. I might and even get a new hat for Christmas. Yeah! Let's get a little filter. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Uh, Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Hey, old Satan. Oh, uh, Sit at home watching TV. Whatever you do, Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> Enjoy your feats of strength. Love the way you spread your wings and fly. I tell everyone about you. They all think it's a lie.
like goat sacrifices and stuff like that under the Christmas tree. Whatever you do. Goat sacrifices <laughs> under the Christmas tree. Whatever you do. I'm trying to get everybody involved. <laughs> Just enjoy whatever happy, you do. Happy, happy holidays. <laughs> happy, happy holidays. <laughs> happy, happy holidays. That's a good song. We gotta write that song. I, I just did. Happy, happy holiday. Coming oh, soon oh, on the Hit Chasers. Oh. Happy holiday. Pagan Satan Christmas. <laughs> right?